I can see why they went out and did what they did. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm not shocked. I'm just disappointed, really. I know my coverage on this situation is a little bit late and my take is going to be a little bit late, but the reality of it all is that Nintendo and what they did will cause a ripple effect for emulation for the many years to come. A lot of emulator companies, a lot of people developing emulators behind the scenes are a little bit iffy right now with emulators like drastic going for free now when they were once a paid application and of course with the fall of yuzu and citra the world seems a little uncertain and emulation as a scene is a little bit scary to be in right now if y'all didn't know nintendo not too long ago sued the people behind yuzu and they sent out basically a district court uh certification a notice uh, and they were saying that Nintendo's gonna sue and Yuzu crumpled. They basically offered the payment of $2,400,000 in fines towards Nintendo as a uh, damage control fees. Citra, the 3DS emulator that everyone loved, so much progress was made on that emulator, also shut down and people around the internet are scrambling to archive these files and preserve this emulation scene. As a whole, I'm pretty saddened by this. I mean, I mean, I, I'm not shocked. It's Nintendo, guys. We knew that they were going to go out and do this, and this just spells the next generation of Nintendo Switch. Why would Nintendo go out of nowhere and take down one of the biggest emulators that was capable of running high definition, you know, 4K quality games and giving these Nintendo games the treatment of a home console? I mean, why would Nintendo go out and just do this? You know, there was there was an evidence there. There was a precedent. They wanted to set this up to have a perfect they wanted to acquire the sales of the future Nintendo Switch, long story short. We all shouldn't really be shocked by this, and reality is, is that Nintendo, while we don't like them for what they did, they aren't exactly the bad guys. I'm gonna be on both sides here. I believe in everything preservation-wise. I believe in the idea of emulators. I believe in preserving history and being able to replay it without the need of spending $120 on a copy of Pokemon Platinum or a copy of Pokemon Diamond or just really any retro game because we know how the market is today and I believe in the idea that there are personal IPs that companies make these consoles these games and have every right to protect them there are companies that go out and they protect their stuff and then there are companies that go out and cease and desist everything you know it's like Sega Sega allows fan games they love it you know don't get too crazy with it don't monetize it and everything will be just fine and you can have your fan game and include Sonic we know it's not realistic hell they even hire people who make the best games known to man so that they could work at Sega. For instance, with Sonic Mania, pulling Christian Whitehead and the crew on there to work on that was one of their favorite, most biggest classic Sonic hit pieces that they'd had in a very long time. But Nintendo is not Sega, you know? Nintendo don't do that crap. They just, they go out and they murk these guys and it's, you know what? It's expected to be honest with you. Nintendo, while they are the family friendly company trying to push Nintendo Switch, they are still a big giant, and they are more than capable, as we've seen in the past with Smia, for example, the, the developer behind, you know, hacking the Nintendo 3DS. We saw those leaks. We saw the ninjas in action. We know what they are capable of. So again, we shouldn't be shocked by this. It's just really sad to see. The 3DS was one of my favorite consoles, and it's such a hard thing to get your hands on unless you've got the money to spend it. And even then, doing like hacking for 3DSs is really easy, but to do the you know content creation side of things and want to screen beam your 3DS to your computer the same way a capture card would do it, it's just not exactly up to par with what the standards are today. And hell, getting a Katsu Kitty mod to physically import that into your 3DS and install a graphics card in there is still a little bit of cheddar. So it makes content creating for the older systems a lot harder and Citra used to just deliver on that by allowing you to just boot it up and run games at almost full speed all the time. I liked seeing emulation on current gen consoles cause it shows how much further people can take these games. And with the Nintendo Switch, people took the performance of certain games like Breath of the Wild, upscaled it to 4 4K and showed us that in like 144 frames per second and the games turned out looking absolutely beautiful. It set the bar for the equality that Nintendo should be having and it's just sad that 
we cannot see that anymore and if we do it's gonna be kind of a hush hush private archive kind of deal it, it makes me sad but you know what it is what it is and it's Nintendo's judgment at the end of the day. Making an emulating system of a current gen console is very dangerous to do nowadays. And of course, they did at some point in time offer Patreon sales for that, which Nintendo might have not have directly gutted them on that for, but there are a lot of instances where Yuzu popped up in other things like Steam Deck ads and everything like that, that did pose a threat to Nintendo's hardware sales, even if just by a small percentage. So I can see why they went out and did what they did. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm not shocked. I'm just disappointed, really. But I would love to hear what y'all think about this whole situation. How do you think the emulation scene's gonna continue? Do you think we're gonna keep getting emulators in the future? Or do you think that this is going to genuinely pose a threat to the idea of an emulator? And maybe we might even see more going down as well. I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you like these videos and you wanna see more, make sure to hit that like and that subscribe button. I'm trying to stay consistent and upload constantly and you're would be appreciated. But without further ado, thank you all for watching and peace out.